Hi, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. This is what we call a Pokemon. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans lo live alongside Pokemon at times as friendly playmates and at times as cooperative workmates. And sometimes we band together and battle others like us, slavery. But despite our closeness, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. To unravel Pokemon mysteries, I have been undertaking research. That's what I do. And you are... Then why have you been talking to us? I'm a boy, and my name happens to be... Kevin... J. So it's Kevin J? Yes, I am Kevin J. Ah, okay. You're Kevin J. Who's moving to my hometown of Little Root? How did you find all that out from just my name? Alright, are you ready? Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leap into the world of Pokemon, where dreams and adventures and friendships await. Well, I'll be expecting you later. Come see me in my Pokemon lab. Stupid mother. Makes me have to sit in the truck with all the luggage. Hello, fellow gamers! Welcome to Poke- Oh, wait. Kevin Jetty, we're here, honey. It must be, ti must be tiring riding with our things in the moving truck. Yes! Why'd you leave me in there? Well, this is Little Root Town. How do you like it? This is our new home. It, was a, it has a quaint feel, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? And you set your, and you get your own room, Kevin J. Let's go inside. I would like to see what my old house looked like. See, Kevin J. Isn't it nice in here too? The mover, the movers Pokemon do all the work of moving us and cleaning up after. There is no, it's so convenient. Your room is upstairs. Go check it out, dear. And Dad bought you a new clock before you. Move, but, uh, don't forget to set it anyway. So yes, hello, fellow gamers. This is Kevin J. Twenty Ten, starting our new Let's Play of Pokemon Sapphire. I'm very glad to be starting a new Let's Play. It's been a very long time. Anyway, so as our mom said to go upstairs and set the clock, the time is currently, um, 5.15 where I am. So, this way, it's p.m. Oh, okay, 5.15? Yep, okay. Yes, that is the correct time. Kevin J, how do you like your new room? Everything's put away neatly. They finished moving everything downstairs too. The movers are so convenient. Yes, because you're using Pokemon, friggin' slave runner. God, Mom, stop talking to me. Oh, Kevin J, Kevin J, quick, come here quickly. Look, it's Pedalberg Gym. Maybe Dad will be on. We brought you this report from the front of Pedalberg Gym. Oh, it's over. I think Dad was on, but we missed him. Too bad. Oh, yes, one of Dad's friends lives in town. Professor Birch is his name. He lives right next door, so you should go over and introduce yourself. Okay, so yes, this is Pokemon. Controls are very simple. The D-pad, well, even though I'm playing on a GameCube, the D-pad on your Game Boy Advance would be to move around, and A button is to interact with stuff. Like, I want to read this sign. Professor Birch's house. So, makes sense. So I'm going to go next door, just walk right into somebody's house, and another girl that looks suspiciously a lot like our mom. Oh, hello, and you are... Oh, you're Kevin J, our new next door neighbor. Hi! We have a daughter about the same age as you. Ooh, our daughter was excited about making a new friend. Our daughter's upstairs, I think. I think, I think your daughter wouldn't have that many friends. I mean, think about it. This town has three buildings in it. And we managed to move into one. I'm waiting for you, baby. Anyway. <laughs> I'm just being weird. Pokemon fully restored. Items ready and... Huh? Huh? Who, who are you? I don't know, I just walked into your bedroom. Not weird or anything. Oh, you're Kevin J. So your move was today. Um, I'm May. Glad to meet you. I I have this dream of becoming friends with Pokemon all over the world. I, I heard about you, Kevin J, from my dad, Professor, oh, Professor Birch. I was hoping that you'd be nice, Kevin J, and that we could be friends. Oh, this is silly, isn't it? I, I've, I've just met you, Kevin J. <laughs> oh, no, I forgot. I was supposed to go help Dad catch some wild Pokemon. I'll catch you later. Wait, what? If, if she's gonna... Uh-oh, she's gonna catch me. Anyway. So anyway, now that we've all done this, the only thing left to do is leave this building. I don't want to be in their house. And, um... I'm supposed to go out catching wild Pokemon, so I'm going to try following them out to go catch those wild Pokemon. 
I can hear someone shouting from down the road here. What should I do? What? Someone else go help. H help me! Hello, you over there. Please help. In my bag, there's a Pokeball. Ah, screw this. Well, where are you going? You can't leave me like this. Oh, okay. So here we get our first Pokemon, yes. And there are three Pokemon you can choose from here. We got Trico, Torchic, and Mudkip. And as you can see, they got nice little pictures on the screen here. Um, Trico, overall, is a... is the grass type. He, um, right now, their, their stats are all pretty much even, but Trico will eventually specialize in attack and speed. He's great for sweeping, but it's very average in attack and speed to, compared to other Pokemon in the game. Torchic would end up specializing in attack and special attack, which makes him one of the best attackers in the game. And Mudkip, fully evolved, would turn into um, more of an attack of attacking, a little bit of defensive wall and all that. And I heard you like Mudkips and all, but I'm going to go with Torchic because I really like Torchic. So here we go. Do, 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 I love the battle music in this game. Yes, yeah. Anyway, so we'll be facing a level 2 Poochiana here. It's a very weak Pokemon. Poochiana, as we'll discover later, is not even that great of a Pokemon. One of the trainers we face always has one, and it's not even good when he uses it. And there we go. We've defeated. We've won our first Pokemon battle in the game. Give yourself a pat on the back if you're doing it along with me. Anyway. Whew. That was in the tall grass studying wild Pokemon when I was jumped. You saved me. Well, that Pokemon's fur color was... Anyway, thanks a lot. Oh. Hi, you're Kevin J. This is not the place to chat, so come to my Pokemon lab later, okay? Later. Like right now. So, Kevin J, I heard so much about you from your father. I've heard that you have uh, you don't have your own Pokemon yet. But the way you battled there, you pulled it off with a plum. Anyway. I guess you have your father's blood in your veins, after all. Oh yes, as for rescuing me, I'd like you to have the Pokemon you used earlier. I received the Torchic! Anyway, yes, Torchic, the fire flying type, is the first Pokemon on our team. Um, what should I name him? Um, the name I gave him in my run-through, I named him Flyless, because he actually can't... He'll never be able to learn Fly, even though he's part flying type. Um, but I, I'm going to ask you guys right now, um, feel free to leave a comment on this video. Um, and if you can, if you can give me a better nickname form, and I'm gonna do it for every Pokemon I nickname. If you guys can think of a better nickname, please feel free to tell me because I will gladly consider it because I will get to nickname, I get to re-nickname them a little bit later in the game. So, ah, oh, first random battle in the game. Ah, oh, it's against a Wurmple, a level 2 one at that. Um, I'm just gonna feel like killing this thing because I can. Ow, you tackled me. I love how tackle seems like it's such a strong move, where it actually, scratching, is actually stronger than tackle. It's kind of odd, I know. So yeah, we are on Route 103. I like how they jumped up in the numbers in the routes. Kind of left, because in the original Pokemon, you would had routes like 1, 2, 3, all the way up to like 40-something. And here we are, we've already entered the first town in the game, and now we can start explaining other things. This is the PC, the PC, well, PC stands for Pokemon Center, and if you're Canadians, it does not stand for Progressive Conservative, politi politics, sort of thing. Anyway, you can get your Pokemon healed for free, and Chugger Connery said, why do Pokemon get free healthcare, and people don't? I don't know. This is the Pokemon, you can buy helpful items there, and these are random buildings around here. Um, you can talk to this person, I believe they do something. Hi, work at the Pokemon. Can you come with me? It just comes with you. You don't even have a choice. This is the Pokemon. Just take a look at blue roof and blah blah blah. You get Pokeballs for catching Pokemon. It's a promotional item. Here's a potion. And that's how you get the potion in this game at the beginning. And basically, yeah, we get a potion. That was the most amazing thing ever. So anyway, you're gonna want to head up here to Route 103. And scooch our way up here, and we're gonna talk to this guy. Let's see, the Pokemon I found on Route 103 include... <gasps> oh, hi, Kevin J. Oh, I see my dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift. Since we're here, let's have a quick battle. I'll give you a taste of what, I've, what being a trainer is like. Okay, so here we are facing May, And she only has one Pokemon, but... It's Mudkip, and I'm showing the stats of this Mudkip at the side because I'm going to show you how this thing works. Um, 
If you, she will always have the Pokemon that is the weakness to yours. For example, we're using a fire type, so she took the water type. If we had picked Mudkip, she would have picked Trico. And it'll always do that every time you go through this game, no matter what. If you pick Trico, she would have Torchic, so that's how it always works. And don't worry, this is not the only Pokemon she'll ever have. I think I'm going to lose this fight, I just noticed. I'm going to growl this thing again. I'm still going to lose, but Miles will try. If I get a random critical, I can win, but I highly doubt it. Yeah, I've lost. One health. Oh no! Please use Growl. Aw. Oh. Ah. Oh. Well, this is a good chance to show you what happens when you lose. When you lose, you white out to a black screen and end up at the last place you healed. And since technically we haven't healed yet in this game, it puts us back at our house. If you had healed at a Pokemon Center, it would have healed you there. Anyway, I'm going to make a quick cut to when we get to the, uh, I'm going to get back to facing May. Okay, so here we are facing May one more time, and this time we should win because you'll notice something a little different about my Torchic. I'm not even going to bother putting up the little stats up here for Budkip because there's no real point. Um, you'll notice I'm level 6 now, and that is because prior to coming here I actually um, ran into a couple wild Pokemon and defeated them, thus giving me experience, thus I leveled up. Just like any RPG, it's pretty simple. And we should win this just very... Oh, there we go. I was thinking that it was going to leave it with like one health. But anyway, yeah, we go. We, we beat it. And there's the experience. And there we go. We're level 7 already. And we learned Focus Energy, which is an okay move, which increases your chance of getting critical hits, which isn't that amazing. Um, And there we go. I think I know my dad has an eye out for you now. I mean, you just got that Pokemon, but it already likes you. You might be able to befriend any kind of Pokemon easily. Well, it's time to head back to the lab. So... What we're supposed to do is follow her back to the lab as well. Um, real quick, I'm just going to show you how the start menu works. You get a bag, which right now only has a potion in it. You can look at your Pokemon. You can get our summary here. Ooh, a modest nature. That's useful. Um, as you can see at the bottom, it says modest nature. Um, natures will raise one stat and lower another stat. What modest does, modest is actually very good. It raises special, raises special attack and lowers regular attack. And that's really good for playing competitively because... Playing competitively, they have very, very, very good... It's very good to just cut out one stat and put it into another stat, so... It's very good, unless they have really low speed, in which case you can get away with lowering their speed. But anyway. Anyway, so you're going to want to come back to Little Root Town. And we're going to go back to the lab right here. Oh, it's walking for me, anyway. Oh, hi, Kevin J. I heard you meet... I heard you beat May on your first try. That's a first try? May's been helping me with my research for a long time. Has an extensive history as a trainer already. Here, Kevin J, I ordered this for my research, but I think you should have this Pokedex. Yes, we now have a Pokedex. Pokedexes are used for keeping track of the Pokemon we see, and then it can tell us where we can catch them. It also tells us useful information about the Pokemon. Yes, I know you have one too, May. I don't care. She's like totally hitting on me, and I don't even really care. Um, we're running a little low on time, actually, so I'm just going to really quickly, oh wait, she's going to, this is what she does to commemorate us leaving. We have such an adorable Pokemon, yes, Torchic is very attractive, it's so cute, anyway, and yes, our, our mo we're leaving, so our mom gives us shoes. Anyway, and if you hold the B button, you can run faster. And I think that's about all we have time for this episode, fellow gamers. So next time on Pokemon Sapphire, we will be starting our adventure in the Hoenn region. I'll see you guys next time.